check this weather out guys, it is absolutely blooming. In the words of the in-betweeners, it's hot. It might be too hot. So I thought we'd do something slightly different today guys to start off this video. So throughout previous videos I've shown a lot of my pad work, a lot of defense drills, but I've never really gone into what I'm working on. So I've had a quick think and I've come up with five key areas that I'm currently working on that I'm going to show you in a minute. If you've been watching for a while you'll note that my pad work has normally been pretty consistent in the themes we kind of follow the patterns we've just been building up a lot and everything is a bit more subtle everything that i'm working on nothing's like drastic i'm not doing wheel kicks or anything crazy obviously i do put in additional moves i build off the base um put in extra counters put in various options but everything is more of a subtle increase more of a kaizen approach continuous improvement quick disclaimer though guys this is just where i'm currently at anytime i speak about a topic on this channel or talk about technique this is just my current state it might be different in a year so bear that in mind right guys so this is in absolutely no particular order but point number one efficient footwork so what i mean by this guys is keeping everything nice and concise i'm not over committing everywhere my feet always follow each other everything's subtle i keep everything my base under me i keep my weight distributed nice center line i'm not over committed i'm not too far back if I am further back, I have more of a preference for defense, but I don't want to have to step and drag my body weight over my knee or something like that. So I'm just here. I can transfer my weight exactly as I want for whatever kick or punch I want to throw, and everything will feed, hopefully, into the next step. The next point I thought I'd mention, which is linked to pad work, is the tie style clinch. So again, this is also linked to my feet. So I, I like to stay nice and basic, try and stay on my toes, good balance, keep good posture here, my back and my head up, and then I'd be looking for dominant position, head, bicep, and come over and come up. I can switch to the knee here. I thought I'd mention this just because I'm trying to make everything flow together. If I can't work in tight with the clinch, then I'm not going to get any kicks off the back of it when we break. I'm not going to be comfortable coming in and stopping people pressuring me or me walking people down and then they panic onto me. So either way, this is a distance I feel has to be measured and we kind of exploit it in our pad work too. Third point I'm trying to constantly improve is my hip and torso rotation. So this is for punches, kicks, knees, whatever. I'm just trying to make sure I shift and I load. So it, it, it comes back to the first point too, it's weight distribution. So I'm trying to shift my weight off my jab so I can load, I sit to this hip on my right hand. If I come for a hook, I sit back here. Notice how my knees are bent. If I want to come for an up here, same thing. I just sit, sit, sit. And it, it's the same really when I'm looking at a kick. So I'm in my stance here. I'm just trying to get my hips in as much as possible. I'm trying to turn my shoulder over. So my shoulders are kind of good indicators of where my hips are going to be. Just looking to load up and then open my hip out open my hip out to get the maximum power, maximum efficiency in my kick. The same on the other side too, if I switch, this side I'm not as good at though, I need to get this shoulder over to come up on this leg, pivot on my toes and let my hip go all the way through, try and really move the person, create a strong impact. Point number four guys, being nice and relaxed, trying to get rid of any tension in my body whatsoever, especially important when you're fighting trying to keep my shape obviously so I like to just suck myself in a bit try to put my chin down so I don't have to hunch my shoulders too much to protect myself especially when I'm using that rotation I should be hidden either way but I'm really looking to use this relaxation to create everything as snappy as possible so if I tense up if I pull my fist up then everything's going to be a bit stiff so what I'm working on at the moment is keeping nice and relaxed and then just closing my fist at the end so I just snap it out at the end here same for my right hand boom rather than all the way in, especially if I'm tense, my elbows might come out and then I'm gonna telegraph everything. It's not gonna make the movement as fluid, my body won't be as connected. So I keep everything nice and tight, my elbows in here. And I just snap, snap at the end, boom, snap at the end, boom. Whip my shoulder over at the end too. Same with the kicks, if I'm tense and I'm looking to kick, ah, it's gonna be all stiff. Whereas if I'm nice and relaxed, I get my timing, get my rhythm and it just comes naturally. Final point guys is keeping a constant rhythm. What I mean by this is not attacking, full blown tilt, have to throw everything constantly, but I just mean always staying switched on. So I'm in my stance here, 
I might wait a second between my attacks or defense to pull the trigger next, but either way, I'm always switched on and everything is feeding into each other. So the next correct decision from the current decision, A to B, is already set up. So I can be in my stance, I can jab, I read a check, that, feed, that check feeds into a switch to a kick, they come, I step back, I come back in, I pull out, I slip off to the side of their shot, right hand counter, they pressure in, I pivot, I clinch, I knee, but either way, I'm kind of in a constant rhythm, so I'm just trying to find the beat of the exchange, it's like a conversation. And this is opposed to making everything nice and fancy, trying to rely on speed rather than room, so blitzing in, and then kind of just coming out and just moving about big distance for the sake of it. There's no real kind of point in that. I'm just looking for constant exchanges where I'm slightly ahead and I'm making the correct decisions the whole time. Chaining my defense and my offense perfectly, but always, always maintaining that kind of unforced error distance between myself and my opponent. Oh my god, that is a jump. Alright guys, I'll admit, <laughs> I am a pansy about bees and stuff, man. It doesn't make sense for it to sting me, it's got one life, so I know it's probably not going to sting me, but oh, still gets me a bit. Anyway guys, that's the concept talk for today. Hopefully people found that rambling somewhat coherent, understandable, helpful. If you did, smash the like button, I'll see you guys at the gym. Uh, we meet again, my old enemy. Today, you have not won. It's scorching guys, but check the angle. Sun's out. Oh, I'm not even gonna say it. I'm not even gonna say it, but hold on. Hold on the twig arm. All right guys, been at the gym now for a couple hours. Time is three o'clock, got here at one, and I'm in my second top of the day already. Got in a casual warm up, and then I've hit pads. So now we're gonna do some grappling drilling. Check it out. Creep while you and me repeat this bittersweet heat is suffocating. I'm waiting and always hesitating. Kryptonite desires set my heart afire. Heart on fire. Set my heart afire. back home now was at the gym about three hours time is now half four and I haven't eaten since half ten this morning but what I think I'm gonna do as it's such a nice day I'm gonna go for a run about 25 minutes I've actually ran two days in a row already so this will be my third consecutive day I actually went for a walk and a run yesterday all kinds of cardio going on but basically I like to take the opportunity when I can especially when the weather's like this because a lot of the time I'm doing jiu-jitsu, I don't like to run and do jiu-jitsu on the same day. But as always, it's a struggle trying to fit everything in, but we're going to get it done. Also guys, check out the little the little TVR doing a few bits in the sun. Alright peeps, 26 degrees. Got a little bit of sun cream on, can't take any risk with this pale skin. But this is pretty funny, check this out. So I've just seen this pigeon on this person's front lawn. And they've just evacuated because I'd seen them, but they were just having a little bath in this guilty pigeon over there all right guys back now hot one out there 
I don't know why, but I like running on the actual road itself. I don't know if it's a consistent thing, like the consistency, it's nice and flat, or it's probably more psychological. I don't know why, but I always like running on the road. So I'm gonna have this snack to hold me over till dinner. I've got a banana, a jazz apple, some cucumber, red pepper, hummus. I'm gonna see off some of these furrowed salt and vinegar, Tyrrell's crisps, and I'm gonna sink this whole thing of water because I'm super behind on my water today. All systems are go people, I am the captain now. Right guys, I cooked these but dad originally made them so they've got salt, pepper, smoked paprika and fresh thyme, these burgers. He's made a little uh, burger sauce, got the tomato in there, gonna chuck on some lettuce too. And I've got some sausages and asparagus on the side. Boom. Finishing this meal off in style, so we've got a tiny piece of pecan pie, just to try it. Five strawberries and then the double mini magnum gang is back. We're going caramel, it's gonna be stupendous. For anyone that doesn't know, this is how you're meant to eat it. Woo! Fire in the booth. Hello? Come to your master. Kiss the, kiss the finger. Oh, or not, okay. Anyway guys, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'm just gonna grab a shower, chill out, sort my life out. See you in the next one. Peace.